first and foremost, hi, my name is Josefina Vega, um, and I am a representative of the Education Abroad Network. We're also known as TEEN for short. Um, we specialize in the Asia Pacific, so we only send students to locations across Asia um, and Australia and New Zealand. Awesome. I think one of the things that um, makes us very special is our step-by-step -step guidance. So from like the moment that you apply to a program to the day that you depart, you're gonna be talking to one program manager. So like no matter what questions you have, like you're always gonna know who to ask and like how to get help. Mm -hmm. um, and all of our program managers have had extensive experience in all of the locations that we go to. Some have studied abroad there, lived there, taught there. Um, so they really know the experience of what it's like to like be in these locations. So if you have any questions about like, how do I make a doctor's appointment or what restaurant would be cool to go to on weekends, like they'll be able to help you out with that. Awesome. Um, another thing I like to highlight is the value of programs. So the cost of it, if you go on our website, any program that you click on, you can scroll and you'll find a fees and inclusions tab. The price that you see is the price that you pay. So there's no hidden fees. Like a lot of students, I feel like that they- That is good news. <laughs> yeah, a lot of students end up asking like, oh, how much does it cost? It says on the website, it's this much. Is it this much? I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. Like there's no like extra fee or anything. So um, yeah. Well, that is nice because can... that's not usually how it is. So. Yeah, they're all... yeah, exactly. Yeah, we understand that that's not always how it is. So I always like to point that out just so you know. Um, so a little bit of just what we're about, like, we obviously believe that City Watch should be an educational experience, but we actually take a lot of um, pride in also educating students to be like environmentally, socially, and culturally responsible while they're abroad. Mm -hmm. um, one of our co core values is actually choose earth. So um, we nice. really put an emphasis on sustainability with a lot of our programs. And um, no matter like what your major is, we feel like you can, all, like anyone can make an impact no matter where they are. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's one thing that we focus on. And also um, we understand like people of different background, ethnicities, religions, sexual orientations, like we wanna make sure that they all feel comfortable no matter where they choose to go to. So if any of that falls under you, you can always talk to our diversity and inclusions coordinator and they'll be more than happy to talk to you about the process, what program might be best for you, depending on your comfort level. So yeah, awesome. thing to keep in mind and health and safety, that's like a big focus right now. Obviously very important to point out, you know, it's always a priority, but especially right now, I think students and parents wanna know how and what we're doing to keep students safe. Mm -hmm. So um, we do have a um, dedicated health and safety team that is constantly monitoring all of our locations, um, especially right now with the progression of the pandemic, yeah. um, monitoring it here, monitoring over there, seeing how and where it's going to be safe for our students to be um and just apart from that stuff like we also you'll, you'll have insurance while you're in all of our locations and awesome. we have um local staff that's available to you 24 7. so like if you break your foot at like 2 a.m and <laughs> you need help <laughs> like you can always reach out and we'll uh -huh. help you like navigate your way to like get assistance so you're never like alone no matter um, yeah, you always have somebody there. <laughs> someone to reach out to. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. Um, so yeah, these are the different types of programs that we have. So I know you said you were interested in like a summer program, um, but we have like short term winter programs as well, semesters, full time internships. That's what's available over the summer mm -hmm. and also semesters, depending on what you're interested in. Um, and yeah, like I said, we have like personalized step by step, step by step guidance. Um, so yeah, any program that you're on, like you'll always know who to ask any questions to. So Perfect. I wish I had that when I studied abroad. <laughs> <laughs> right, and, that's, that's nice. Uh, scholarships, so, you know, big, big question that we get from a lot of students is do you have any scholarships? Um, we understand that like finances are sometimes a stepping stone that students have to like get over in order to study abroad. So we do have um, need, merit and diversity scholarships. Um, they're all a minimum of $1,000 and the merit and diversity one goes up to 3000 and the need one goes up to 5000. And the cool thing about our scholarships is that it's only one application to apply to any of the three. 
So let's say that you relate to both um, need and merit, then you can do one application, address both topics, and you'll be eligible for both. Sweet. And that also applies to our full ride scholarship. So if you apply to any of the three, you're automatically in the running for the full ride scholarships. Basically, we wanted to streamline the process for you. So you're not writing like four different applications for all the yeah. different scholarships. It's just one application and you'll be considered for any of them. Awesome. And How many annual full rides do you give out? We give one annual full ride. So it's usually a calendar year. Um, mm -hmm. This year, we didn't give one for the spring. So actually the deadline, if you want to be considered for the summer or fall, is um, March 1st. Okay, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then photography scholarship, that's a kind of a separate scholarship. So if you're really into photography, you can find out more about that one. And then university specific scholarships. Um, those are funds that our overseas partners give to us to give to mm -hmm. students because in the past they've really enjoyed the students that have been on their campuses. So in order to okay. encourage more students to go, um, they provide us with these funds. And again, same application for any of these. Awesome. And just a little bit more about money. <laughs> um, so obviously because of the ongoing pandemic, we understand that there is like a possibility that some of our programs might not be able to run. Um, so we wanted to lay out our cancellation policy just so that you feel a little bit more secure about starting the process. So um, we call it the we got your back refund policy. So basically, if we have to cancel a program before the start date, um, you have three options. You could receive a full refund, including the application and program deposit. Um, you could consider a different program um, for the same term. So like only because we have to cancel for example, this spring, we had to cancel all our Australia and New Zealand locations, but Korea is still running. So if you had applied to an Australia location, you could have just transferred your application to Korea and still gone abroad. Oh, nice. So that's an option. Or if you just like really love the location that you wanted to go to, um, you can just move that application to a different term or different year. So these are all the locations that we send students to. Um, so lots of different options. And I don't know how familiar you are with like the study abroad process, but basically the way that our study abroad programs work are that um, we actually directly enroll you into a university in our locations. So mm -hmm. um, if you wanna go to Australia, you'd actually be like enrolled at like the University of New South Wales directly, and you'll be able to take like courses from their full course catalog. So it's a really immersive experience because you're just gonna you're gonna get the opportunity to be amongst not only other international students but also local students. So I feel like yeah. this way um, it makes it easier for students to assimilate into the countries that they go to. Okay. And, and do they? Do they kind of universalize the, the cost or do you pay university specific tuition? So our program fee includes tuition. So our program fees includes tuition and housing and um, any like excursions, orientations that we have. Um, mm -hmm. There's actually on the, um, I don't know if you remember in the beginning, I said that there's like a fees and inclusions tab. You can take a look at like specifically everything that is included in our in our program cost. Okay, gotcha. And then we, we actually have a little list of things that are not included and mm -hmm. an estimate of how much those individual things cost. So mm -hmm. for example, what we get asked a lot is like, are flights included in the cost of the program? The answer is no, because mm -hmm. depending on where you are in the US, you know, a flight to Australia costs a different amount. So it's uh -huh. kind of like not fair to charge more students if it's gonna be, you know, just. Um, so that's yeah. like an example. It, it makes more sense for you to pay for your flight. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that's like an example of like what's not included in the program cost, but like something that we want you to still take into account when you're picking mm -hmm. your destination. Sweet. So yeah, these are all the universities that we work with in Australia. And these are all the ones in New Zealand. And these are all of okay. our Asia locations. I'll here for a sec. I'm gonna, this is the one that I'm really interested in. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Okay, great. So I also realized I missed 
I switched Asia. So it says Asia. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so yeah, these are all of our Asia locations. Um, same concept as I explained with Australia, you're directly enrolled into these universities and you do not need to know the local language in order to um, apply to the program. A lot of students actually don't know a single word of the local languages when they go. They just kind nice. of learn while they're there. Um, so yeah, and I wouldn't like, yeah, worry too much about that. Like students do a lot okay. of, as you can see the location. Yeah, I speak, I speak Mandarin, so I oh, could, perfect. Okay. I could make you, it in China. I could make it in Singapore and Singapore <laughs> honestly is pretty much English anyways. It is. It's very, um, English dominated language. Yes. So, that's, yeah. part, that's where I lived. So I, I love it in Singapore. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so all of these, I know you said you're interested in summer. So actually all of these locations have a summer program. So again, you'd be directly enrolled into the school. Um, so you can still be among like other international students as well as local students. Um, awesome. So yeah. And here is where I was gonna start going into detail about specific health and- Okay, the health science and science one. stuff. So I'll, <laughs> I'll kind of just skip through this and okay. kind of and or you wanted to know about internships too right yes internships would be awesome okay great yeah so um our internships are all customized so what i mean by that is we don't have like predetermined locations that we just put students in our mm -hmm. once you apply our internships team will have a conversation with you about like what's your major your previous work experience any future goals that you have and with that information, they will try to find a placement for you. Awesome. So, yeah, so because of that, we recommend students are open to location just because like if you, it depends on what the student's priority is, right? Like some students are just like, I just wanna go to Korea. So we're like, okay, but like you might not find an internship that's like, yeah, that exactly, matches your skill set. <laughs> yeah, like exactly in your field, like, and some students don't care and other students are just really focused like it needs to be this subject so then in yeah. those instances we recommend that they are open to location um okay yeah but no matter like which location you end up being in like you will still have like a resident advisor there available to you and mm -hmm. will provide you with housing and stuff like that so like um yeah every location is basically going to be like a big city sweet Mm -hmm. yeah that sounds awesome yeah um yeah so that's a little bit do you have any questions about internships a little bit more oh um, yeah so do you just go to your website to meet with like a team member to pick out an internship kind of thing yes that's what i was gonna do right here <laughs> so <laughs> to start an application um you yeah go to our website so it's teenabroad.org and okay. at the top right hand corner there's like a giant apply now button Perfect. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's just gonna if i'm not mistaken it doesn't specify or it does specify a like location that you're interested in but like once you have the conversation with our team like it's easy to just switch that location if we find like if you're interested in Singapore, but like in your area, like in your major, China is a better option, then mm -hmm. we'll just, we'll just switch your application to say, oh, yeah, like to in, say in, China. In Shanghai. Yeah. Um, okay, nice. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's basically yeah, the that, that Did sounds you awesome. Have any questions? Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting married in April. Okay. <laughs> So Congratulations. How, thank you. Yeah, it's super exciting. My girlfriend and I have been together for like five years. So oh, wow. it's a long time coming. But okay. um, I was just wondering how that would work with an internship abroad. Can you bring right. your spouse with you? Do you need to like pay extra for housing? Like how would that work? Right. That is, those are excellent questions. And I am sorry, I'm only going to be able to give you some like broad answers. But You're okay. Basically, um, as far as housing, um, in that case, I don't think we would be able to provide you with housing for both of you because the housing would also be with other team students. Um, okay, it's, gotcha. just, it's basically just other team students. So 
you do have the option to opt out of our housing and find your own if you would like. Okay. You don't know how comfortable you feel with that or how, um, I guess, depending on the location, that could be a little bit tricky yeah. because the internships over the summer are just a couple weeks um, to <laughs> find short term. Um, but I think I could, that, I could make it work depending on where I was going. I I'm really yeah. good at doing that in Asia locations. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, you were pretty familiar. So yeah, China yeah. and Singapore, I'd probably be fine. And even probably Korea, they have a very similar culture with res reservations and stuff like that. So I could figure it out over there. Yeah. It would be Australia and New Zealand that I'd kind of be like, Hmm, <laughs> what do, do I do? This. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'd say that would be uh, the biggest obstacle. Um, mm -hmm. The next thing you'd have to consider is visas and how long, like, because your wife would yeah. be like a visitor, they wouldn't, because we're registering you, like the visa that we provide for you isn't necessarily the visa that she'll be able that to get. she would get, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, okay, so we, in Singapore, I know she'd be okay, because it's a 90-day okay. yeah. pass. So that's like a three month pass. Yeah, um, and I think like Australia, and New Zealand have a similar, like I think it's also like a 60 day. Um, yeah, it's like a couple months. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, it's just, we provide guidance for getting visa, but we're not like certified visa advisors. So there isn't yeah, like so much detail you. that we can give you. However, mm -hmm. like we can, kind of point you in the right direction and like if you do have questions like don't hesitate to reach out like our team will always okay. provide you with as much info as we can um but those are like probably the two like i guess speed bumps that i'd say you'd have to yeah consider. the biggest things to figure mm -hmm. out exactly yeah um but yeah i think like other than that like you know, just, just those two little things. <laughs> yeah, just just the, the just, majority of what you're doing. <laughs> no, yeah, <I'm> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's, um, that's what I was kind of expecting, so. Yeah, yep, yeah. Um, and are you looking for this summer specifically, or? Um, it could of, be this summer or next summer. Okay, yeah, I just also wanted to put out a disclaimer that like, obviously the summer is very unpredictable. It's, it's up in the air, definitely. Very <laughs> up in the air. And we, we're like trying to make a call on it soon, whether or not we mm -hmm. think it'll be possible. Like summer programs seem a little bit more feasible because like students are just gonna be on a campus and like most campus or like at least like some campuses are expected to be open over the summer, mm -hmm. but an internship is a little bit trickier because like some yeah. organizations don't want to hire international students right now because, you know, they're trying to give jobs to their local students or, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, it, it's really up in the air right now. So just something yeah. to keep in mind because maybe like next summer might be a better option. So. Exactly. And I'm open to that. Like, it's not a, it has to be this summer or no summer kind of a deal. So. Right, okay, yeah. I mean, you're first year, so I guess you have a couple summers left in you before. Yes. Yeah, so I got, I got a little while left. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah. Do you have, um, yeah. Any other questions that come up? Like any? Um, not that I can think of. I think I'll just need to check out the website. Yeah. Sounds good. And also. And you said uh, it's teen, teenabroad.org. Yeah, I will. So I'm typing right now my email address so you can keep that and reach out if you have any questions. Okay. Then I will also put Got on it. the site just so that you can also just quickly take a look. Um, awesome. But, Got it. Yeah. So that, yeah, that's basically my spiel. <laughs> Sweet. Good spiel. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, if you have any questions, like don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'll find that info for you and send it over. Sounds great. Thank you so much. It was Josefina, right? Yes, Josefina. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your help. You're very welcome. Hope you have a great rest of your day. You have a good one. Bye. Bye.
hi Daniel I know you're probably going to be editing this and since I didn't exactly um do my regular presentation um I am just gonna do it now just so that it exists and you can edit it and keep it and put it up on your website um so as soon as I share my screen I'll start presenting Hi everyone, my name is Josefina Vega and I'm a representative of the Education Abroad Network, also known as TEEN. Um, we are a city abroad provider that sends students specifically to the Asia Pacific. And this presentation is gonna be a little bit about um, just rundown of our programs and more specifically getting into options for um, health and other science students. So we offer over 70 different programs across 10 countries in the Asia Pacific. Um, I'll go into detail about what those countries are a little bit later in the presentation. And we, I think a really cool thing about our programs is that all of our program managers have actually had experience in the locations that they advise students in. So no matter what location you go to, the person that you're speaking through to throughout the application process has actually either studied abroad in this location, live there, intern, taught there. So they really know what it's like to live here and kind of what a student could expect from being there for the first time. On top of the program managers that are gonna help you throughout your application process, we also have in-country staff that's available to you 24 seven. So whether you are in need of a help with a doctor's appointment, or you just want like a really good food recommendation, our staff love to help our students out um, and they will be able to do that no matter when you might need it. And one thing I like to point out to students is the cost of our programs. So if you go on our website and you click on any program and you scroll down, we have a fees and inclusions tab where you could actually see everything that's included in the program cost. So what you see is what you pay. There's no hidden fees. And you can actually also see a list of what is not included in the program and estimates for those items. So you can always know like how to budget your experience depending on the location, which I think is very useful. And just a little bit of what we're about. Um, obviously we wanna make sure that your city abroad experience is educational, but we don't think that only needs to be limited to your major. We also want to make sure that you um, are educated environmentally, socially, and culturally while you're abroad. Um, so we actually have a very big um, Choose Earth initiative with our programs. So um, sustainability is like a really big thing in our organization, no matter what your major is. We think that um, there's a lot of different ways where you can make an impact um, environmentally in locations that you go to. And also important to point out that no matter what your background, ethnicity, religion, or sexual orientation is, um, you will have support in our programs. We have a diversity and inclusions coordinator who is always available to talk if anything concerns you. Um, they can also help guide you in which locations maybe you might feel most comfortable with going to. Um, we just want to make sure that no matter where you are, students feel safe and comfortable. And that kind of revolves around being um, culturally aware and tolerant. So not just towards other students in your program, but also um, locals that you're going to be interacting with either in the classroom or in a work environment if you do an internship. It's really important to just accept that um, just because something is done differently doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just different. And health and safety, something that's really important right now, obviously. Um, I mean, it's always important, but for these times, we think it's crucial to point it out. We do have a dedicated health and safety team that is constantly monitoring all of our locations um, to make sure that they will be safe for students to go to. 
like I mentioned earlier, we have local staff that's available to students 24 seven for any emergencies. And we have guaranteed housing with all of our programs. So no matter where you are in the world, you'll know that the housing that you get is gonna be safe and secure. So what we offer are semester programs, summer, winter programs, full-time internships. We also have some options for study and interning at the same time. And the important thing about, or I think a really cool and important thing about our application process is that it is personalized step-by-step. Step. Um, so from the moment you apply to the day that you depart on your program, you will be advised by the same person. So no matter what questions you have, whether it's about housing or visa or courses, we'll know exactly who to ask. I <laughs> think it makes it a lot less confusing for students. And you'll get to know your advisor by name and they'll get to know you. So it really makes for a more personalized experience, especially when at times our program managers get to help you at orientation in country. So you'll get to meet them after all those months of emailing back and forth. And just quickly about scholarships. Number one question we get for students is, do you have any scholarships? We understand that sometimes finances can get in the way of students studying abroad. We don't want that to be a barrier. So we do have a variety of different scholarships, including need and merit diversity and university specific ones. Um, no matter which one you apply to, it's only one application. So if you feel like you relate to both merit and need, you only need to fill out one application and then you'll be eligible for both of those. Filling out that one application also automatically puts you in the running for our full ride and our university specific scholarships. So very streamlined process, one application, just talk about what you feel refers to you and you'll be considered. And because of the uncertainty of the pandemic, we wanted to make sure that we pointed out what your options are if we do have to cancel a program. So you have three options, the option to receive a full refund, or you can consider an alternative program for the same term. So just because one program is canceled doesn't mean all of them are that term. Um, so you could always just switch, or if you just really love the program that you chose, you can always just wait and go in another term. So a little bit more detail about where we go. Um, this is all the locations that we send students to. Here's a closer look at Australia. So we work with 20 different universities in Australia. The cool thing about our programs is that you are directly enrolled into the university. So you have access to the full course catalog. So because this specific presentation is more about um, the health and the sciences, um, all of these universities actually offer something for either subject. Um, you can look at their course catalog directly and find out which courses will be good for you. If you need any help with that, you can always reach out to us um, and we can help you with how to navigate searching for courses or finding syllabi if you can't find them. So. Yeah, literally all these universities have something in the, um, some courses in health and science. Same goes for New Zealand. Again, these are all the universities that we work with. And same goes for Asia. So all of our locations have, again, of course, options for health and science majors, um, either in a semester or a summer or an internship location. Just a quick overview of some of our more specific program options. Um, these are our Australia traveling summer programs. The cool thing about these programs is that you actually get the opportunity to go to multiple cities across um, Australia. So part of your experience will be, excuse me, part of your experience will be in the classroom um, being taught by a professor um, from an Australian university. So once you, you'll spend some time in the classroom learning 
And then you'll actually get to go out in the real world and experience that firsthand. So this really offers students the opportunity to put in practice something that they love to do or something that they're just discovering what they like to do. These are pretty intro courses, but anyone who is more advanced in or like later on already in their upper divisions can definitely find some benefit in participating in these programs. Because like I said, it does offer the hands-on experience of getting to go out there and actually do the stuff that you're learning in the classroom. Same goes with our summer in Thailand programs. So in these programs, you'll get the opportunity to take one course. And again, it's a traveling program. So you'll be in Chiang Mai and Krabi and you'll get to, um, yeah, same as Australian ones, be in the classroom for a period of time and then go out and experience these things firsthand. Um, our most popular one for this one is actually our um, Asian approaches to holistic health and wellness. I think thinking of health through a different, um, through a different scope really is beneficial for students. They find students have come back saying like, I found a whole new appreciation for their major and how they will approach health in the future, um, how they will talk about health and wellness. So I strongly recommend looking into that one if you're looking for a short-term summer program and you're interested in health. And if you're more interested in the semester, um, we do have our kinesiology study intern and semester program with the University of Western Australia. This is a really cool program where you have a guaranteed internship already embedded into the program. Um, this is more for um, like exercise science majors and sports medicine where they'll get to intern with an Australian rules football team, which is super <laughs> cool and unique, really rare opportunity. Um, but if you are in another health studies major, um, you'll still get an internship, but it'll be more focused on supporting organizations, um, delivering various public health programs. And another similar program that we have is our kinesiology study intern and research semester. Um, this one is in Murdoch University, also in Perth. But the unique thing about this one is that you'll have a research component embedded into it. The research related fields can vary every year. So on our website, we actually have a list of what Murdoch is currently researching. But again, very unique opportunity to get to have firsthand hands-on experience, practically guaranteed. And finally, the opportunity to intern abroad. So. All of our internships are customized. We have um, semester and summer length full-time internships for academic credit. Um, since our internships are customized, basically that means that our internships team, once you apply, will give you a call to talk about your major, any previous experience that you have, any future goals. And with that information, they will take it and find a placement for you. And because of that, we recommend students stay open with location. Um, but I can say like Asia is actually a really good place if you're in like health field. Um, there's a lot of great opportunities there. Um, this summer in particular, it's, it's possible we won't be able to run health related programs, obviously, but um, if you're interested for next summer, summer 2022, great option, lots of great opportunities. So now that I've talked your ear off, um, how do you get started? So first and foremost, we want you to consider the type of experience you wanna have. Do you know if you wanna go for a semester, a summer? Um, do you just want an internship? You don't really need to take any courses. Once you have that stuff in mind, or if you're not sure what you should be considering, feel free to reach out to us. We can help you narrow that down. And once you have that one program that you're really interested in, you can start an application online. First, you should always go to your study abroad offices, but when you're ready, you can start an application with us at um, teenabroad.org. Top right-hand corner, there's a giant apply now uh, button in blue, you can't miss it. Um, and once you start that application, we will give you a call and help you get started on this process. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out um, right next to that apply now button. Um, we do have a request info button as well. You can always just type it there or I typed my email in the chat and you can reach out to me directly. It's josefina.vega at tinabroad.org. So josefina, J-O-S-E-F-I-N-A dot vega, B-E-G-A at, and then tinabroad.org like you see on the screen. Well, thank you so much for listening to this presentation. I hope that you guys apply and I hear from you soon.